The story in, in Chained is of a um, serial killer who actually drives a taxi. And we see him pick up a mother and her son. And he proceeds to kill the mother and keep the son over a 10 year period as a sort of companion and protege. It's a romantic comedy. <laughs> The script uh, was written originally by Damien O'Donnell, who, uh, it was a, a little more violent, a little more in the area of, I'd say, more torturous. And it upset me. I didn't, you know, want to make that. And I, so I, I found myself able, thankfully, to do a, a rewrite on it and try and find some redemptive value in it. And I'm thrilled by exploring why people do what they do. And I think the cycle of violence you know, is what fascinates me. So I was studying how monsters are made, um, why this serial killer is who he is and why he does what he does. And uh, so I, w I was drawn to that challenge as opposed to just the idea of a, a man keeping a child uh, for abusive reasons. That attracted me because it scared me. And I think there is a right way to be afraid if you can proceed uh, with caution and intelligence, and that's what I tried to do. I think the less you see, the more you imagine, and that's more frightening. The same reason you never really look under the bed at the monster or open the closet door, because the audience is imagining far worse than you could ever create. And so less is more as far as that. And I think that the real horror in that is that, you know, he changes the boy's name, his mother is gone, his father is gone. What is his world now? His, now his world is this, and he's watching the deconstruction of the lives that come in. Vincent D'Onofrio, you know, I've been a fan of his ever since Full Metal Jacket, and he certainly played um, a great serial killer in The Cell. But I, I had actually um, auditioned and spoken with him for Boxing Helena years and years ago, and I just am a huge fan. I think he's one of the finest actors out there. and. I knew he could be soft enough and masculine enough, but really, you know, it's a mind game, his, his serial killer, more than it is a slasher kind of craziness. So I thought Vincent was perfect. And he really, he went there. <laughs>